What's going on guys? We're doing a push chest focus workout. First workout of 2023. And what we're gonna be focusing on is explaining a little bit more about why I'm doing some of the movements I'm doing in this workout, opposed to the last video that just showed a lot of the movements and me completing them. So you're gonna learn a little bit more about why you'd wanna focus on certain movements opposed to others. So what I'm focusing on there, there's still not my main working set. I'm gonna jump into my main working set on the next one. But what I'm focusing on there is maintaining my shoulders being back and then trying to flex my pecs to actually move these handles. Which doesn't make any sense. Everyone thinks it's all arms. It's not. And I'm not coming all the way up to a full extension because I'm trying to get my chest to stay engaged as much as possible. Now the reason I'm using this bench not only is it independent on either side, but also it allows me to lock in my shoulder blades so that I can focus on the pecs. That happens because the joint is secure. The more secure your joint is that you're trying to work at, the more the one muscle you're focusing on can engage better and you can overload it. Because I'm working on the chest muscles, that's what I'm looking at doing. of things to watch on this one okay so this is this is just a warm-up set for me focus on a couple things one keep your rib cage down don't over arc your back okay so come with me to show look at my lower back that is an over arc position you see that a lot in pressing don't do that tighten up your abs just the natural arc in your back keep that all the way through chest is still up still getting that good stretch and squeeze Focusing on that stretch in the bottom, controlling it, flexing to the top. Really important that we go at an angle that actually hits that upper pec because those upper pec fibers can be isolated. Like maybe 70% of the tension through the upper pec fibers and the rest through the rest of the pec. But if you want that nice little shelf look, especially since I'm a competitor, I need that nice round look in the chest and that, you know, focusing on those upper fibers are gonna help grow that area. So you gotta feel that squeeze. If you don't, you're most likely pushing too much through the shoulder and the tricep. And you have to reevaluate that mind-muscle connection and really start working on that squeeze. All right, so you just saw me do an incline or incline uh, cable press with a neutral grip and then I rotated. So um, what I want you to look at is how many holes are through here right now okay so with the last press i did with the cable i had two holes showing all right and now i'm about to do dumbbell and that'll be three holes showing now that's important based on the angle because depending on the angle is how much stress you're going to get in the shoulder okay so the specific part about that is that you always record that or remember it i like to record it in like a my phone or some type of paperback of some sort, but I use it in my phone mainly. So that I don't mess that up. So I know exactly, you know, how low or high the incline is. So when I do the weight, it doesn't throw me way off. Cause if it throws, if, if you put it say higher, you're most likely gonna be a little weaker. And the lower you are, you're most likely gonna be a little stronger. So make sure if you're at like a big box gym and it has these adjustments, it's probably not gonna have that many adjustments you follow me in here, look at all those holes, right? That's a whole bunch of adjustments that we can use here um, at a limited performance. But when it comes to yourself, you might have a little bit less adjustments, but always pay attention to how, like where the angle of the bench is so you know what kind of stress you're getting on your shoulders compared to your pecs and how it's gonna, how it might differ between how strong you are from one week to the next. So if you go real high one week and then you go real low and you're like, I'm way stronger, that's the reason. You're gonna be stronger the flatter you are, most likely. At least 90% of us are. All right. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and do a chest fly using dumbbells on a stability ball. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I actually wanna stay in the stretched position for longer, okay? 
It's been proven now multiple times that if you train the muscle in the stretched position for longer, you're likely to get more hypertrophy from that um, stimulus. So what I'm looking for is a little bit more volume here because the arms are gonna be fully extended and a whole lot of stress on that pec tendon and the shoulder and the bicep a bit. So I don't wanna use you know max weight on this. It's more time under tension focus. So I'm going to be stretching, trying to actually activate the muscle during that stretch position and then reflex in to that stretch position. Contract it about quarter of the way, almost halfway, and then keep that tension right back into the stretch position. Lots and lots of burn here, lots of tearing feeling at the muscle. Do a weight that you can definitely control first and then slowly pyramid up to something that's gonna be, you know, stimulating but not annihilating. Don't tear yourself up too bad. And I would definitely do this movement further into your workout. Don't do it at the beginning or you're probably gonna hurt yourself. Now, we're doing a French press with a dumbbell. I'm using a support because the more stable you are, the easier it's gonna be to focus on the muscle you're intending to hit. So if you're isolating something, remember like I told you on the chest press, if you're more, if your joint is more stable, you're probably gonna be able to focus more on the muscle you're intending to hit. So this is the best I have, and most benches at gyms are gonna be tall benches, and if you find the short one, I would utilize that one for this movement. At my gym right here, this is the best I got. So I'm gonna take this, bring it up to my shoulder, diamond grip it, press it above my head, stabilize with my hips, relax my neck, the shoulders as well, and then let it come as low as possible, deeply stretching that tricep, trying to get as much tug on that tricep as I can. That's where we're gonna get a lot of that breakdown, stimulation of the muscle. When we get down to here, I wanna feel like I'm flexing the tricep up, not just pushing. A lot of engagement. Feel like the weight is in your tricep, not in your hands. Feel as stable as you can. Breathe in on the way down. Out on the way up. Breathe in on the way down. Out on the way up. All right. All right, guys, that's gonna probably conclude our push day. I hope you guys learned a lot from it. Follow me for more, and until the next video, have a good one.